Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ajay, a software engineer, a public speaker, and an author of a blog called The Positive Energy. You may be, you may ask why I am here today. I am here today because I have got something important for you. I have got something that can help you to be successful at your job. I am here today to do a book review for a famous book called The Go-Getter. The title is The Go-Getter, written by Peter B. Kayan. You may ask why you should read this book. Uh, let me tell you, uh, let me tell you how this book can help you. This book was written by Peter B. Kayan and it narrates a story. It narrates a story of a sales, sales uh, person called uh, Bill Peck, who works on an extraordinary assignment and who proves to us that no matter what your obstacles are, no matter what your hurdles are in life, you always can find an opportunity. You can always find an opportunity by being optimistic, by having a strong determination, courage, confidence, loyalty, and the passion for what, what it does. And this is a, a really great parable. It's a very e easy read. The language used in this book is very simple, very vivid, and anybody can read within two to three hours. So that's the beauty of this book. If you are an employee looking for a new job and uh, want to be successful, or if you are an employee who is working for a company and looking for a promotion, you can read this book and get benefited. After reading this book, I personally had had nine key learnings, which I would like to share with you today. The nine key learnings, or I would say the nine traits that that makes any 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 employee a go getter uh, employee or any person to acquire a go getter personality. So number one learning for me was go getter go getter personality people always over promise and over deliver. For example, when they when they land into a job for to to work for any corporate company or any company, they ask a lot of questions from their employer, from their boss. They ask questions like, "What are you expecting from me? What what is my my role over here? Or what kind? What are the five things you want me to work on for the next three months?" That gives them the edge. That that shows that they are genuinely interested in the job they, they would be doing, uh, doing or the duty they would be doing. The second uh, trait, which uh, all the go-getters uh, have in common is they always take an assignment, the, uh, they take one assignment as their last assignment on, on this planet. So they do the work really, um, with a lot of diligence, they put their heart and soul in what they does, thinking that they may not be getting the next assignment. How true it is. If you think one, if you take a work and deliver the way that this is the last assignment, I'm sure you'll be putting your 100%. So that, that, that was number, number two learning for me. Number three learning for me uh, was go get your people. They always go extra miles. They always deliver what they are paid for. They always deliver more than what they are paid for. So for example, they don't just do the job. They just oh, exceed the expectation of their supervisor or their boss by going beyond the extra miles, by uh, asking the right questions, by working extra hours and not really just filling out uh, the hours, but by delivering the quality by adding the value into the people's life and to the organization. So that was my number uh, three learning. Number four learning, uh, I found it like a really, uh, uh, this fourth learning really intriguing as they do a lot of research, go get a personality people, they do a lot of research uh, for the company they are going to interview with, for the company they are working uh, with, they, they, uh, they try to find out uh, who who is the right person? If, if let's say that if I ask this person how it is going to open the door for me 
and and it is the it is obviously a true it sounds true asking the right question and asking the right people can uh, can help you in becoming a go getter personality uh my fifth learning from this book was all the go getter personality people has they work on three c's you may ask what are those three c's the those three c's are courage confidence and clarity courage confidence and clarity all the employer they look for employee who has clarity of thoughts who can uh, who can align his thoughts or her thoughts with the vision of the company who who is confident in his abilities who is confident to take a responsibility to 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 take a work and uh, go beyond the miles to deliver it so that was my number 5th learning number 6th learning and uh, uh, for any go getter as um, that will put you in the game as the determination the endurance the loyalty and the passion for what you does so determination tells you uh, that success is not about just uh, just achieving the results success is about moving from failure to failure moving from failure to failure with the same enthusiasm and this these three traits are the true embodiment for a go getter personality my seventh learning after reading this book was all the go getters all the go getter people they ask the right questions asking the right questions asking the right question is really important i i i do a lot of reading so i have heard from people people who are successful in any field their questions are really beautiful not their answers they just ask the right question they ask the beautiful question and that makes you a go getter what is my um, what is my uh, role over here how i can how i can be a better um, a, a better person how how i can be a better person so those things you can ask the eighth trait uh, which is uh, which you can find across all the go getters are they embed persistence with experimentation they try things they uh, they they put lot of persistence but they do a lot of ex- experiments so they always uh, try to come up with new or innovative ideas they exhaust all the possibilities they just just uh, dig out all all the solutions that that any that anybody can think of so that that is the eighth trait of any go getter the ninth tra- uh, trait and which is the final one and most important for all of you i, I see a lot of i see uh, myself i see a lot of people they try to uh, follow the footprints of uh, somebody else it's nice to get inspired it's nice to get motivated but let me tell you this all of us have something which is unique our story is uh, really beautiful life is just like a story so it is how you craft the story how how you portray the character how you put the lives how you put the colors into uh, the your story how you put the pictures you are the protagonist you are the protagonist of your story so so don't follow anybody else story don't compete against uh, anybody else if you compete against anybody else there there can be two things you are losing yourself you are losing your identity your values and the second is you may not be the the other person you may lose your uh, your confidence so i uh, what i do always is i learn from people i learn from people who are successful in uh, in my field or any other field but i always set my own benchmarks i always compete with myself i always ask the right question all right what what i can do to uh, to be successful in this area of my life how how i can add more value to my life and somebody else so uh, these were the nine key learnings i had after reading this book and i'm sure uh, there will be like lot and lots of learning uh, you know which i may not have covered it because of uh, the time constraint all right uh, so when when we when we uh, read something uh, it's uh, we may have to implement it and uh, there comes the implementation part how how we can implement what uh, we we read 
and i had implemented three things after reading this book number one when i go for any job interview i do lots and lots of research about the company about the product about the team about the culture of that company i make sure that i exhaust all my research before i um, go for interview i always i i always i try to find out who is going to interview me what is his um, role in his company so that helps me in preparing for my job interview uh, the second uh, thing uh, the second uh, implementation from this book and i have that trait in general as the courage confidence and the clarity i always uh, i always i always portray myself uh, i'm confident i i i work on my abilities and i try to learn i try to i i try to nail the things uh, in in the areas of my life my enthusiasm i i have uh, read lot of great books and uh, everybody tells that if you don't feel confident act like you are confident if you uh, if enthusiasm is all about uh, showing that uh, showing that positive energy showing that why that can be contagious my enthusiasm is a contagious the third implementation uh, from this book uh, for me was thinking out of the box uh, thinking out of the box not thinking about the obstacles but thinking about the solution that makes us a champion that makes us that keeps us in a elite performance group i'm sure uh, whatever i have shared with you today about this book can help you to become a go getter i'm 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 sure you must have learned something new uh, on how you can be successful at your job if you think if you think uh, this book can help you i am putting a description i am putting the link for this book in the description section so you can uh, order it online or i am putting my personal low notes and learning from this book in the description se section which is detailed so that you can go through it and um, implement that in your life and become a better employee or become a successful employee at your job thank you so much for uh, spending your precious time and listening watching to my uh, uh, to my this video as always stay healthy stay safe and live an inspired life thank you